In the gospel today, we are reminded that Jesus knows the value of a parable to teach important lessons. Jesus points to the kingdom of heaven. In both the parable of the hidden treasure and of the pearl, Jesus wants us to understand the real value of prioritizing the kingdom of mercy and love above all else. In one of the parables, we hear of a pearl of great price. This is a really big deal because then, even more than today, pearls were highly valued. In both parables, the participants realize the treasure they have found and are willing to trade everything they own to possess that treasure. What lies at the heart of Jesus' teaching is that God's kingdom of mercy and love is good news and it's given to us freely and totally abundantly. And you and those you care for are treasures too. It's good to be reminded of that in these troubled and complex times. And if only we could remember that when the chips are down. God's love, God's kingdom is a story worth shouting from the rooftops in every paddock, whether hidden treasure or not, and on the streets. Remember the kingdom is big and day to day, it invites our response in the ways we live our stories. Our actions can be different because of the gospel right now. We don't have to go and search of paddocks for hidden treasure chests. It's actually us being invited by God who comes into our lives as we live our stories, our parables day in and day out as best as we can, putting service of others ahead of storing up things that cannot last. Let's ask for God's grace to always respect human life, to treasure those who are serving against injustice and to not remain silent when we notice injustice, and importantly to respond to those in need of God's love and mercy. I see it in the actions of Mission Australia, supporting the homeless, where the most vulnerable are treated with dignity and worth. They are treasured. As Jesus reminds us, they are of incalculable price and part of God's kingdom. Life, right where each of us is, and for eternity, is going to be different because of the living treasure of God who loves us, urges us on, and calls us to live differently. What will our response be? Why not this week ask God to teach you and guide you? You are treasured and those you serve are treasured.